Hi guys, thanks for coming through my YouTube channel. My name is Liliana and this channel I do weekly motivation and lifestyle and I also do a weekly business tips on especially on prints on demand. And in today's video, I wanted to share with you some of my best tips that I use to make money on Zazu. So today's topic is how to be successful on Zazu. So I'm going to give you some of the tips, some of the things that I do within my store, a mindset, etc. So if this is something that you're interested Interesting. If you have a Zazu store or if you're thinking of starting a Zazu store, please keep watching. Hopefully these tips are going to help you. So basically I have been in Zazu for almost a year and a half and I have been really uh, consistency. So it's been a, a hard working, but it's going pretty well. So I wanted to share my tips things that has helped me with things which what has uh, helped me grow my store and be more successful in Sazu. So get a note and feel free to write some of these stuff down. So the first thing what I realized with Sazu is not a get rich uh, business. So you have to be, uh, you have to have that kind of mindset. You can't be like uh, starting a Zazu store or if you've been in Zazu for a while and you're not getting the result that you wanted. It's not a get rich. You need to be patient and you need to be persistent. So you need this. This is a mindset, a mindset shift. So you need to be patient and persistent and consistency as well. So don't give up on your Zazu store. That's something that I have learned with Zazu because you can load a, a product uh, may probably a week and then it sells maybe after two weeks or after a month. If it sells on the next day, it's, it, it, it does happen sometimes, but not as much as often. So you need to be patient and persistent and consistent at the same time time the next thing that you need to also know is you need to believe you need to believe on your on the work that you're doing you need to believe on the design you need to believe that it will it will surely sell soon you need to have that belief in you because there's no point if you're running a business like Zazu loading product adding design and doing all those hard work but yet you don't believe you have doubt it's really hard to actually continue in working on it so you need this in your mind so there's a, the with the Zazu what I have learned there is a mind shift you need to work with your mind as well so you need to work with your mind not just like uh, let me just make product so I can get money quick and that said you need to change your mindset the next thing that you also need to do you need to do a research on the customers what i mean by this is you need to know what customers are buying in size what customers are looking for the type of design the type of color the type of pattern the type of the product that they buy in size in size they don't just customers they don't just buy uh invites they don't just buy like postcards they buy different things but you need to do a research on the actual zazu platform and see what customers are buying and a good place to start in the, is on the home page see what uh, zazu company are actually promoting on the weekly base on the daily base on their home page and also you can also do a google search google trend and see what type of the um, stationaries and uh, gift accessories that customers are buying the design the colors then you can use that information to design those product in Zazu store and also you need to know the type of the product that you need to put that design to so for example you may have a beautiful floral design pattern but you need to know in which product is really popular that customer are buying. Is it popular on the phone case? Is it popular on the pillow? Is it popular on the mug? So you need to know these kind of stuffs in order to serve your customer because the whole point you're there, you're serving your customer. You may be in love with your design. You may have amazing, beautiful design. You, you may love your design, but if it's something that it is it's something that the customer is not looking for, the customer is not going to buy it. So you need to really do your research and know what customers want and serve the customer. The next thing you need to do, like I said, is upload design on the popular product and, uh, you need also to go inside your Zazu store. Make sure you set up category because category is really important. Category is a way that your store is organized. So if the customer lands in your store, they buy something and this likes other things, they, it's easier for them to move around. So 
things are not everywhere so make sure that if you don't have the category sorted create category within you inside your store in zazu store it gives you that option if you go inside your zazu store you're gonna find the section where you can create category so make sure you create category well, hopefully these tips were really helpful. If you liked it, give me thumbs up. And if you're not following me, please do follow me because I load weekly video to give you guys tips to help you, to support you. And I'm sure that you're going to do well. Just keep, uh, don't give up, keep working harder. Please do follow my channel and leave your comment below if there's any other video that you would like me to do. Thank you for watching now. Bye-bye.